Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a drop. Uh, it's a really fun drop from a gazelle into a double knee hang hawks position. And as with many drops, this one may look a little scary to begin with, but actually it is very easy and simple once you commit to it. So commitment is the word of the day. But first I'll quickly remind you to please subscribe to my channel because when you subscribe, it helps the YouTube algorithm promote the channel to new people and it will keep you up to date every time I put out a new video, which is pretty often. So make sure you don't miss anything. Subscribe and like and I'll really, really appreciate it. Okay, there's the business side done. So now let's move on to pro tips. My first pro tip is to turn all the way to the side before you go into your gazelle. Obviously we're starting with the gazelle and to have a successful and secure gazelle position, you really need your whole torso facing directly to the side. If you're having problems, it's probably because you are not turned enough sideways. My second pro tip is to drop quickly. This is a type of drop that's kind of almost a slide down to your knees. So the quicker you can do it after you start to feel comfortable in it, the more impressive and drop-like it's gonna look. And my third pro tip is that when you are in your hawk's position, push your hips forward, arch your back, and then look back with your head. That's gonna give you that nice arched backward look. It's also going to help hold you more securely on the hoop. Okay, those were your pro tips, so now let's break it down. We're starting with a gazelle. If you have a question about gazelles or you want to feel more comfortable in your gazelle, then check out my other tutorial for gazelle, which is linked at the top of your screen right now, as well as in the description of this video. Since I've got another tutorial about gazelles, I won't go too much into detail, but basically you're going to turn to the side as much as possible. Remember, that's very important. If you want a right leg split, you are turning to your left. If you want a left leg split, you are turning to your right. I lean my torso back, walking my hands down the hoop, keeping my torso close to the hoop, and bring my outside leg up all the way in front of me into a split position. Remember that the hoop needs to be between your leg and your body at this point. I should be in a nice locked in gazelle at this point, so I can take a minute to do some nice things with my arms, show off the position. You're going to leave your same hand as your front leg holding the outside of your front ankle and take your free arm, so that should be your opposite arm to your front leg or your same arm as your back leg, back all the way around as I bend my back knee and grab the outside of my ankle. When I say the outside of my foot, I'm talking about the side of your foot with your, your littlest toe. Your, your littlest piggy should be the side that you are grabbing with your hand. If this is the first time you're trying this drop and you want some extra security, you can switch the hand that was on your front leg onto the bottom of the hoop and use that as a little extra safety just the first times you're learning this drop. From there, I release that front leg, moving it back and bending the knee, ready to catch the hoop with my bent knee. As I slide my hips forward, to be honest, if you just think forward and that you're moving forward and down, that's gonna happen naturally. I leave my back hand on that back foot, and as I come down into my hawk's position, that's my safeguard to make sure that my knee stays nicely bent around the bottom of the hoop. And there I am, I'm in my hawk's position. Once you feel comfortable doing this version, then go ahead and try the full-on version where you only use one hand. So I'm doing everything exactly the same, except before I drop, once I have my back hand on that back foot, I simply let go with my front hand uh, from my front leg and drop down. And that was it. So here is the whole thing again in real time so you can see how it works. I really like this drop. It's very simple, but it's really effective and you can make it very dramatic. And one more time, I'll remind you to please subscribe. If you are already subscribed, please like. It really shows me that you guys are appreciating these videos and it shows me that you want more videos like this. So do those things and I will see you guys next time.